So welcome to my video of how I replace the uh, onboard charger on my Coachman with the Victron charger. Um, really the main reason I want to do it is because I've got a lithium battery fitted and also uh, I found the uh, original onboard power supply um, charger to be uh, a little bit noisy um, with the fan speed. Um, so I thought this was probably uh, a, a good option to replace it with. So this is just a quick video to show how I replace the onboard charger. So we start with the um, consumer unit within the caravan. Obviously there's just two screws here that you can see. Um, in my coachman uh, it is a bit tight is this cover. Um, so you might just need to prise it up. I did uh, prise this just before lifting it out here. And then you can straight away see the charger underneath. Well, I, I call it a charger, it's actually just a power supply is this. It doesn't actually do anything other than just apply a constant voltage. It's a bit tight with the cables underneath, but you can pull the main uh, power cable out. And then the, the other two plugs that are left are uh, one that goes to the control panel basically to show that you're connected to mains it's just a signal wire uh, and then the other one um, goes to the battery um, for charging and the other 12 volt things in the uh, caravan so i've moved that out of the way now uh, i'm just showing you the uh, signal cable i i didn't use this cable um in the end i just just taped it up which i've taken a picture of here and tucked it out of the way i wasn't bothered about having the signal on the control panel you can see how i've added added two spare connectors to the charger uh the victron charger that is and just another picture inside so you can see the cables inside so now um it's just fitting the charger itself um it looks quite bulky but it is actually quite a good fit within the space where the old power supply come from so you can see the uh, black and red cable there that i've uh, fastened in with the two spare connectors on um, and these will slot into that that plug that was already there you could chop the old plug off the old power supply and use that if you really wanted to um i, I didn't want to destroy the old uh, one and you can see i've i've added um a female version of the kettle um, plug here so now it's just a case of uh, plugging this into the caravan side as you can see it's quite an easy fit um, it's probably a little bit more fiddly with with this um, but it's doable um, you might want to add some tape um, or something just to, to further secure that so they don't come out they were quite a tight fit though so i wasn't overly concerned um, i put installation over the uh the terminals so there was nothing uh, showing and then uh sliding the uh charger in obviously there's, there's room underneath for the excess wire uh, and you can see it does go in uh, although it is a bit a bit loose um it, it, it is a really good fit and um just to further secure that you can see here i've, I've put some foam padding on the uh, cover which um, keeps it nice and snug in there so it won't move about so much um i haven't shown putting the screws back in again but but essentially that's it here i'm just showing you the victron app and where you can change the settings from um, charger to power supply i'll be leaving it as a power supply because i'll predominantly be using the caravan while it's on electric hookup so it only needs to be a power supply when i do need to charge it when i'm off grid i'll change it back to a charger and charge the battery back up again um, you can see this is just that easy to do i'm actually using um, a fog star drift battery so i went to their website and i further went into the settings i haven't uh, recorded that but you can see all the settings here you can set the charger up um, correctly for the fogstar um, battery um, i also have a victron mppt controller for the uh, solar and it's the same settings for that 
Thanks for watching. Any more hints, tips and advice, uh, head over to our uh, coachman group for 575 owners. Uh, I've posted some other uh, bits of photos on this group as well that uh, will show you some of the other bits of stuff that we've done to our van.